Hello, I'm going to do the daily love reading. And this is for the collective, so for, for whoever feels drawn to hear this message. Also, this may or may not resonate with you, so if it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. So I have my Romance Angel cards, and then I have my Rose Quartz on top, just to give it extra love energy. <laughs> All right, whoa. Okay, so I guess the cards want to come out. They have a message. So we have romantic feelings. Oh, we have new love. And we have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. But, I, mask. but I'm feeling like that deception is like... You're saying you're not ready for love, but you really are ready for love. Or you're saying, I'm not going to find love, but love is looking for you. That's, that's what I'm feeling. That's my immediate feeling when I um, turn that card over, was that love wants to come in for you, but it's almost like you're fooling yourself. Or maybe you're like, oh my gosh, this is too good to be true. You know. All right, so let's get some tarot. See what else is going on here. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> <coughs> Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and I feel like that's it. Like you are like no, like I'm. It's not going to happen for me, or I don't. I don't want love. I'm not looking for love, but it's head, heading your way. Okay. Look at that. Seven of Cups magical too good to be true queen of swords getting past okay, success and victory we have seven of swords this card has been coming out so much lately in my readings okay which is crazy and then we have the devil card and the eight of cups and temperance okay sometimes i just you know i don't have any plan i just kind of go with what i feel that the um as many cards that I feel should should come out. So for overall energy, we got a lot of going on here. We got some deception. We also have the Devil card. Um, we also have the Eight of Cups card, and we have the Seven of Swords. So those are all kind of. Um, I feel like what it's saying is leaving those past relationships behind and maybe you're saying that love isn't going to find me or I'm not going to find the right person and you're kind of in that negative energy space or you're, you know, like I was saying, you know, maybe this new relationship that comes in, you feel like, oh my gosh, this is too good to be true. But I feel like you have to work through this first, you know, because that deception is you're wearing a false self mask that maybe you're telling yourself, no, I don't want a relationship. But inside you're like, yeah, I really do want a relationship. But you have some stuff that you have to release and you have to let go of first. As far as this six of cups here, that I feel like that can represent a couple different things. It can represent things from your past that you kind of have to let go, that you have to move past, that you have to leave behind or it could be that um maybe there were some things in your childhood that you know you have to let those things go because we have the eight of cups here but it also could be that for some of you that there may be somebody that's coming back into your life that you had a relationship with before and you kind of have to do this work first and then that person comes back into your life you just have to be patient because i feel like temperance was kind of like that final card that said just be patient just just hang in there just things will fall into place and you'll see you'll see why and you'll you'll see how the puzzle pieces will start to put together but you you have this this energy to work through first you know those bad relationships those toxic relationships it could just be your negative you know I'm not saying that you do have but you know, maybe your negative thinking, you know, kind of turn that around and say, yeah, like I'm open to love. I'm open to a new relationship. 
But you just have to be patient and, and you have to work things out. You have to work things out within yourself first and take off that false self mask and say, yeah, like this, this is me. Or maybe it's, you know, in relationships, you kind of put up those walls and it's like, okay, you have to take those walls down in order to find that real true love, you know, that real soulmate connection is that you have to be vulnerable in a relationship. So um, for current energies, we have romantic feelings. We have Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Knight of Pentacles. And like I was saying when I was first putting those cards out, I feel like, yeah, like maybe you are in that denial. You are saying this isn't going to happen for me. But I feel like it's headed your way. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles, which is positive energy, it's heading right towards this romantic feelings. And that's kind of that first beginnings, those stirrings. Maybe there's somebody that you just saw <coughs> that was kind of, or you're starting to think, yeah, you know what, I think I do. Um... I do want a relationship and February is definitely a difficult month for you know those that are single because there's it's it's like it's all around you you know it's everywhere you go there you know people in relationships and for some I'm not saying everyone for some you know it can be difficult you know to see all of that around and know that you know like you don't have that if that's something that you want um, and if you don't want it that's fine but Sometimes February can just kind of put you put a put you in a in a bad frame of mind just because you're like, "Oh, well, it's another Valentine's Day alone or this is my first Valentine's Day being single and I was with so and so last year, you know, and it kind of brings up a lot of <coughs> memories and <coughs> energies that maybe you have to let go of those things. You know, you have to let those go and say, "Okay, well, I'm single now. What are those things that I can do to work on myself?" you know, and to release, and what are those things that I need to let go of, all right, but I do feel like it's, it's heading your way, there's definitely romance is, is heading your way, but like I said, you have to work on those things, those things first, and kind of balance those things out, like the negative and the positive, and to kind of look at things, so for future energies, we have new love, a new, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so I do feel that there is a new person coming in for you that's very magical, um, that helps you to move past this energy here. You have to do this work first. Okay, you can't put that on someone else. You have to. You have to kind of be in that frame of mind and let go of some of those things. But I help. But I feel like this new relationship is very positive. We have the success and victory card here, rising above. Kind of. I feel like the the people here represent those negative energies that um, that disbelief. You know that kind of past relationship rising above and I feel like this relationships help this relationship helps you to move past that um, because I feel that you're coming in in a good space like you're releasing things and you're feeling positive and you're being vulnerable so that th th this is a different relationship I feel than you usually have I for some reason I keep in my mind, it's like, I can't believe this is true. I can't believe this relationship is real. I, for some reason, it's too good to be true. That's, it keeps going around, around in my head. <laughs> All right, so we have the Hierophant. So I feel like it's almost like that saying, like getting back to basics, um, believing. It also represents a long-term relationship. Um, so I feel like this relationship that is coming in for you is a long-term, you know, relationship. I feel that you are definitely tired, you're frustrated, but it's like hang in there, you know, hang in there. Um, I feel like these good things are headed your way, you know, they're coming. Right now, this is just temporary, okay? It's, it's kind of like this temporary frustration and... You, do, you just want to make sure that you don't stay stay in that energy because it's almost like if you're in that energy, you may even be blocking what this or what wants to come in for you or you may be pushing that out even further because you have stuff that you have to work through first. Okay, again, we have the Six of Cups. So I feel that could represent a couple of different things. It could be you feeling happier, you feeling lighter, you feeling hopeful, you feeling young and energized again. It also could be that for some of you, like I was saying, is that there may be somebody from your past that you had a relationship with, a positive relationship with, not a toxic, crazy one, 
um, but that that person may be coming back into your life, that they may be connecting with you, maybe through friends, you know, for some reason I'm thinking Facebook, um, you know, you kind of reconnect with someone from your past and you're like, oh, hey, how are you doing? And that, uh, that stirs up new things. Um, over here, I feel, you know, that can represent the same thing or it could just be getting rid of any of those because this is surrounded by this negative sort of walking away energy, you know, releasing things from, from your past. All right, so for future energies, we have new love, new love coming in. All right, opening the doors, opening the gates to a new love, new relationship, a new outlook, a new feeling, a new beginning, okay? Yes, Page of Cups. Feeling good, feeling positive, energy is flowing, feeling magical, feeling good, you know. Look at that, the sun card, even better. Look at this line, look at this line, so good. Getting past those things that, you know, you've dealt with in the past and leaving those things behind and rising above the situation, okay. I feel like the Queen of Swords is like, you know, she kind of recognizes those triggers and, and that you're seeing that if there's something that triggers you that you kind of nip that in the bud before it even starts beginning, you know, because sometimes if your mind wanders back to this, you're like, no, like I'm in a good place now. I'm in a good, you know, there's a new love, there's a new relationship, there's a new chance, you know, I don't want to go back to where I was. I want to be strong. I want to move forward. All right, so let's get a couple more cards. All right, having that connection. The um, Four of Wands, a strong connection. They're, you know, they're holding hands, they're laughing, they're having fun. That also can represent get-togethers, family get-togethers, social events, you know, getting together, getting yourself out there. And, you know, maybe that's where you meet this new love, okay? And then we have the Six of Wands, which again is success and victory, okay? You've got that card twice. So future energy is very positive, is very good. You've got some stuff that you have to work through here, um, some perspectives, some energies that you have to let go of. There may be somebody, you know, coming in f from your past. We have um, Six of Pentacles, I think, um, yeah. So that sharing, okay, making sure that you communicate with this new relationship, with this new person, making sure that those lines of communication are open and that you keep, you keep those open and that you don't block those, okay, that you don't close those off. I feel there is something really exciting, a new love, a new relationship coming in for you. I'm really excited. That helps you to rise above. That helps you to feel good, to move past old relationships. But again, like I was saying, is that there's some work that you have to do. Releasing, I feel like this um, Six of Coins also means releasing um, this energy here. But it's something that we have to recognize that we're holding on to and that we're doing in order for us to figure out what it is that we have to let go of. So I, I would say, like, don't give up hope. Like, this beautiful energy, this new relationship, this new love is coming in for you and to not give up and I feel like it's going to feel like it's too good to be true and embrace that energy and surround that with yourself and open those open those doors to a new um a new love that helps you to feel this positive energy and this and this connection all right um let me see what do I want to I'm thinking whispers of love Let's close out with that. Even though it can seem frustrating, you know, um, and I, I'm just feeling like this Nine of Wands energy. Like it's frustrating. It's like, oh, I've gone through so many, you know, bad relationships or so many. But it's like, maybe take a look at that. Why is that? You know, what what is it? Was it the same type of person? What are those relationship patterns? Were you picking the same kind of person? Um, what is it that was frustrating? Were you in a good place? You know, was that person in a good place? Was that person the right match for you? Were you just hanging in there? Were you seeing red flags that you were ignoring? Were you making excuses for someone else's bad behavior? You know, kind of looking at those things, looking at those relationship patterns. And I feel like that can really tell a lot for ourselves. 
All right, we have express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. <clears throat> that could just be little things. It could be something like picking out someone's favorite food or getting someone, you know, or bringing home, like, um, noticing those little things that they like and doing that for them. Writing a little note maybe in their wallet or their purse or something like that. Or, you know, getting flowers or going out to a favorite restaurant. Kind of when this relationship comes in, I feel like it's being emotionally in a good place. But then also being able to show that person that you care. Show that person, you know, it doesn't have to be give big gifts. It could just be those little things that mean a lot to someone. All right. And we have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointment. Perfect. Because that is this energy here. Okay. That is this energy here. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And it's working through that first. That's what you have to work through first. And once you do that, then this, then this can come in for you. And like that's what I was saying pretty much through the whole the whole reading and just making sure that when you have this relationship that you are you know vulnerable and ready to receive this relationship I really think that this is a beautiful relationship that's coming in for you very exciting very happy very bright emotionally fulfilling okay lots of possibilities with this relationship and helps you get past the past all right Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.